aren't many girls, besides Rihanna of course, who can say they've got up close and personal with US superstar Chris Brown, but this lucky lady can. Jordan Sparks became the youngest ever winner of American Idol in 2007, and she's been on a roll since then, signing a deal with Jive Records, releasing a debut album, and teaming up with a certain heartthrob who can't put a foot wrong at the moment. Their duet, No Air, got to number three in the UK on downloads alone, weeks before it was even released in the shops. And having admired his work from afar, you could say the 18-year-old was a tad pleased to land the job. It was great. I will say I have been a fan of his for about two years, and so to make that dream a reality definitely was very, very crazy. But um, I got to work with him, and I was so excited. And he's very, very sweet, super talented, and of course he's very cute, so I mean... I'm happy with what it would happen and I'm happy with the result and I didn't I had no idea that it would be so massive as it's been and so every time I see him I try and tell him thank you and I'm pretty sure he's tired of hearing that because I have seen him quite a few times so he's probably just like okay this girl's crazy and I'm just like thank you so much but no um it was a lot of fun the first time we performed it was actually on Idol a couple months back and we both were looking at each other like this could be really good or really really bad so um and it ended up being good, so that was the good thing. But we were both looking at each other like, okay, but it worked out, so it's been fun. But after sparking up a friendship, see what I did there? Anyway, the singer from Arizona is in the perfect position to tell us whether Chris and Ree really are an item. Or is she? I'm not them, I don't know them, I don't hang out with them like people assume that I do. Um, I just know him from the video shoot and the first time I met him, so that's it. But yeah, I do feel like I've kind of been dragged in there and everybody's like, well, are you sure? You worked with him, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so you work with your coworkers. I mean, you want to talk about their lives too? But I don't know, I don't know anything. Quit asking me.